Here's how to transform that crocodile jaw into an alligator jaw. We started with the crocodile, the loose hand heavily lying on the thumb, and particularly focusing in on the second finger's relationship to the thumb, and there's your crocodile jaw. Now, to make it into an alligator jaw, we simply draw the second finger back, forming this triangle with which you're already familiar. There's the, the crocodile, the alligator, the crocodile, the alligator. Now, we could also draw the thumb forward, sliding the forearm forward until that alligator's jaw is again created. Now, once you've got it, you can play notes with that alligator's jaw, creating that triangle, and then... Now, let's say the alligator gets tired and he yawns. <sighs> so open that up wide and even stand up on the thumb. Make it as wide as possible and come back down. But not falling down. Spread the fingers and then slowly against resistance bring them back down. And this time he yawns and whoops, a little birdie flies into his mouth. We better protect the birdie so we curve the finger as we bring it down. There, we've made a nice little space for birdie. However, what if Mr. Alligator got hungry? Then he's going to whoop, snap down and gobble that birdie up. Unless, of course, he's a vegetarian. Now, we can maintain the high tonus of the hand and this wonderful relationship of the thumb and hand, thumb and fingers, by walking from one key to the other, from one key to the other. You notice that I'm not even main changing the shape of the alligator jaw at all. Or else I can open it up and bring it back down. But never lessening the right work of the first dorsal interosseous muscle. So important to maintaining a lovely alligator's jaw.